So for this week, I've got a huge treat. I have this fish that just came from Iceland. It was in Iceland yesterday. Now it's in my kitchen here in Boston. It's an Arctic char. Now you can think of this fish as somewhere between a salmon and a trout. It's beautiful. It's got that same sort of underbelly of a salmon, same general look overall. And it's just this absolutely gorgeous fish. It's gotta be one of the most beautiful fish out there. And what gets me excited is not only the flavor of this fish, but that beautiful color on the inside of its flesh. It's that gorgeous, bright, almost salmon pink, and I absolutely love it. As always to start, I'm gonna break this fish down, and I'll show you how. To begin the breakdown process, I'm gonna come right around the side of his head, around his gills, cut right through here, and then I wanna go all the way down, right by his spine. Now I'll flip the fish over, make that same nice cut right around its head here, behind the gills, come around and cut through the belly, and now I'll just go all the way down that line one more time. What people don't seem to realize is that breaking down an entire fish is actually a very simple process, and you get all those beautiful, great parts. You can use all these fillets for making different things, you can use the belly for sushi, you can use the head and the spine for a nice fish stock, there are so many things you can do with a whole fish, and it's cheaper. All right, so for this whole beautiful piece right here, we can scrape all of this off, and we can use this for a beautiful tartare, sashimi, whatever you want. And this is what you'd find in a spicy tuna roll. So I got my nice bowl of scrapings right here. I'll put that aside, use that later. Maybe I'll make some crispy rice with this arctic char sashimi on top, maybe a little sesame oil, some green onion, some salt, a little soy sauce, mirin, grated ginger. Oh. So we've got our beautifully clean carcass here. We can toss this and make a fish stock with it. So I'll save this for later. Now we're gonna come right at the belly and cut right down along it so that we can take out all those bones and just remove that fatty belly part. Once we take this off, we've got this nice piece right here. We'll save this as well, but we'll use this for something else. We'll do the same thing with this piece here. We're gonna come in right under the bones here and just cut along back to remove the belly. And then we get our belly off. Now we're gonna go ahead and start removing the pin bones. To do this, we just simply grab them and then peel back and they'll come right out. We have to be extremely gentle with this part not to damage the actual flesh of the fish. Removing pin bones can be a pain in the butt. And to me, this is actually the only difficult part of getting your own fish and breaking it down. But once you learn how to do this, it's really not that bad. It just takes a little focus for a little while. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my nice portions of this fish. This right here, beautiful portion. Perfect. So I got my nice four portions of the fish. So let's season these all over with a little bit of salt. And we'll make sure we flip all these over and get the skin side, because I want that crispy skin. The skin is beautiful. Do not let it go to waste. So now that these are all nice and salted, we're ready to cook. So to cook our fish, we'll start with a nice little spoonful of clarified butter. This is basically just butter that has the milk solids removed. It has a much higher smoke point. Once this oil begins to smoke, we'll place our fish skin side down and hold it down. After about 15 seconds of holding the skin down, we can take our hand off, turn the heat down to low. Over this low heat, we'll let the skin crisp up for about five to six minutes. Now we'll add in a nice hunk of butter. And just let that melt for a second. Then gently flip our fish over. Perfect crispy skin. For aromatics, I'll put a little bit of orange zest, some wilted sage leaves, and a little bit of lemon pepper. You can really use whatever you want here. It's all about just getting rid of things that you don't really need in your kitchen anymore and also fusing flavor into this fish. At this point, we can practically turn off the heat and just let this cook the last few minutes while we rub that butter against the fish. This fish is so incredible, it can be eaten completely raw, so we don't wanna ruin this fish by overcooking it. Once this is set, rest it off to the side and we'll make our other parts of our dish. Let's make a quick chimichurri. We'll first crush our garlic and grab two of the cloves. We'll place these in a blender, along with a nice big bunch of mint and cilantro. Then we'll add a touch of white wine vinegar and a good serving of olive oil. You can continue adjusting the amount of olive oil based on your consistency after you blend it the first time. Finally, I'll do some fresh cracked salt right in here. This is so beautiful that I wanna leave it in its original thing, so I'll add some of these potatoes that are lightly crispy. Then I'll follow it with our beautiful piece of fish and top it off with some of our nice, Gorgeous chimichurri. Keep in mind, you must enjoy this right away so that the skin will stay crispy with that chimichurri on top. I can't even begin to tell you how good this smells. Bon appetit, I'll see you next time.